Good day, everybody. This is Dr. Nandi back again. Today, we are going to talk about a problem on finding positions, measures of position in a data set. So without further ado, I will share the screen with you. So this is a problem on finding measures of position in a data set. So we have a set of data. There are 22 data points. So sample size n is equal to 22. First, we'll enter the data set in L1. So the way you do that, it's stat one, edit, and you enter the data set in L1. Uh, and we are using TI-84. Uh, after entering the data set in L1, then you do stat, press the stat button, then highlight calc, and then select number one, which is one where stats. There are three lines under one where stats. The first line should be list L1 because our data set is in L1. And uh, frequency list, the second line should be empty. And then we scroll down to calculate with the down arrow key and hit enter, okay? So we get the five number summary from which uh, we get the minimum there is nine. Q1, the first quartile is 14, the median is 27, Q3 or the third quartile is 41, and the maximum is 59. So these five numbers are called, or they make up the five number summary. Now we want to determine whether there is any outlier in this data set. So in order to do that, we have to calculate the interquartile range, IQR, which is Q3 minus Q1. And this is 41 minus 14, this is equal to 27. Then we multiply the IQR by 1.5, which is 40.5. Then we find the lower outlier boundary. Some books call it lower outlier fence. It's Q1 minus 1.5 times IQR, which in our case is 14 minus 40.5 is minus 26.5. And we find the upper outlier boundary or the upper outlier fence is Q3 plus 1.5 IQR, which is 41 plus 40.5, 81.5. Now we look for numbers smaller than minus 26.5. There is no such data point. So there's no outlier on the left side. And we look for numbers greater than 81.5. And there is no such number in this data set. Thus, there is no outlier in this data set. Now we note the mean, which is X bar in this data set is 29.5 and the median we have already noted is 27. So mean is greater than the median. This data set is therefore positively skewed or skewed to the right. Now we want to find out the 31st percentile in this data set. So, I'm sorry, we will go back to this in a minute. 31st percentile. So 31st percentile means uh, we go, so let me enlarge the screen. So 31st percentile is 31 divided by 100 multiplied by the total sample size. So 31 divided by 100 is 0 0.31 times 22 because my sample size is 22 is 6.86, which we round to seven. So we are looking for the data in the seventh position. So first we have to sort the data from in an ascending order. That is from the low numbers to high numbers, from the lower numbers to the higher numbers. So we go to stat, press the stat button, then we select sort A. And inside the parenthesis, we type L1, which is L1 is second one, close the parenthesis and hit enter. It says done. And then we go to stat one edit, and we see, we find out that data in the seventh position is 24. That means 24 is the 31st percentile. What does it mean? That means 31% of this data set is below 24. <clears throat> the next question is asked, what is the percentile position for 38 in this data set? Okay. So again, we look at the sorted data set, find out 38, and there are 14 numbers above 38. 
So the percentile position for 38 is 14 because there are 14 numbers above the data above 38 uh, and 14 plus 0.5. So it is 14.5 divided by 22. 22 is the total number of data points. So 14.5 divided by 22 multiplied by 100 is 65.9, which we round it up to 66. That means 38 is in the 66th percentile position. That means 66% of the data are below 38. 66% below 38 and 34% above 38. Okay, that is the end of it. I will stop here today. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to send me a comment. I'll promptly answer. And please subscribe to my channel because I come back every week with new statistical problems solved by TI-84. So take care, have a nice day, and see you next time.